Hello, we're out out. <laughs> so, a video about not a lot this, but I thought a Brian Bodie bimble. You'd like that, wouldn't you? That's what I was thinking. So here we both are, plodding along. This is so wet, I couldn't go the other way. It was absolutely drenched. So we come along the footpath way, see how far we can get. Not gonna to go too far. So a video about not a lot, but just something to tell you. A little bit of snow uh, dotted around under hedges and at very, very cold places, that's all. See, just a little bit. It's all good though. Believe it or not, it's seven degrees. Went to bed last night. It said minus two, but feels like minus four. It bloody did. I woke up this morning, seven degrees. Sunning ourselves. There is no Mr. Solar Face. Now I've got something to tell you. Um, get this out of the way, get this done. Because people have been asking, and one or two people have been quite concerned. Uh, so, let me tell you, boys and girls, today I have my meal deal. Yes, indeedy. I stopped at the garage on the way. So in the car, I have uh, two chicken, bacon and stuffing. I love me stuffing, don't I? Two chicken, bacon and stuffing sandwiches, um, a double Mars bar and a Dr Pepper, which I won't drink. I've made myself a Slurpee as I invariably do oh I'm not going up that way loads of people loads of dogs come on boat this way this way my friend can you hear them howling away yeah so uh It's still cold enough that the boot in the car is cold because uh, I also stopped at another shop. Yeah, I've been bloody... Come here, I've been busy. I got myself some bread, some milk, some eggs, some peanut butter and a bar of Cabris Whole Nut, um, which used to be one of my favourite chocolates. Uh, I'm making a premiere, I'm doing little bits towards a premiere, Thursday the 25th, right? We're going to have a premiere in the evening. Uh, so that'll be a bit of fun. But in that premiere, I mentioned that my taste has changed since uh, my various bloody illnesses. And one of the things is I don't really do chocolate, and it's true, I don't. But I just fancied my favourite ever chocolate, Cabris Whole Nut. I just thought I'd try it, see how we get on. A little bit of snow there. See, this water isn't normally here. We've had so much snow and rain and the stream is full, which it isn't normally. I'm not going that way, boat, it's too wet. Come here, my friend. Right, I'll turn this off and turn you back on. Oh, right. A little bit more. A little bit more snow there, look. <sighs> nice to have the benches, but uh, I'm going to go and sit in the warm. Okay, see you in a sec. Hello. Oh. Right, I've abandoned. I abandoned our little bimbo, I'm afraid. Couple of reasons, I couldn't catch my breath. Oh, I'm just really, really out of breath. Could not catch my breath at all. Um, but it's not even that. The real reason it is so wet, so wet here. I won't come here again um, until I think it's dry. So if we have a few weeks of uh, dryness, then yeah, we'll come here. If not, we'll go somewhere else, that's fine. Do whatever we do. 
uh, but I certainly would give this one a miss um, particularly at the moment it's so wet doesn't matter where you go which track we tried four uh, different tracks and they were just swamped absolutely swamped and Bodie don't mind he's got four legs and he motors on through and that's fine uh, but I mind <laughs> so oh. So that took it out of me a little bit, but that's cool, no worries. Um, oh dear. Ah, no, I mentioned about an unboxing video and I will be doing it. I'm still waiting. Uh, the thing that I've ordered is coming from Texas. Uh, Austin, it was in Austin, Texas. I, f I followed it on the web the other day, the tracking. Austin, Texas, then Chicago then Chicago onto a flight and then it's coming here so uh, hopefully it lands later today or tomorrow and I'll get it the following day or the day after whenever um, you know might be a few more days on top of that who knows really but we'll wait and see and then I'll make a, a little bit of an unboxing video but I'll tell you about this particular thing because <sighs> it's quite good right let's have uh, a swig of slurpee because that will calm me system down I tells you Mm. Yeah, nice. Just lately, I've gone mad on poached eggs. Really mad. I just bought another ten eggs. I bought some bread and I got some butter at home. But um, I really, really love poached eggs. Poached egg on toast is a wonderful thing. <laughs> I can see me waking up at like three in the morning, poached egg on toast. Hey, why not? That's better. So, I'm doing okay. I really am doing okay. Feeling pretty good. So today we wanted to get out because I knew that the temperature was going to really hike up. Um, tomorrow and the next couple of days is going to be 10, 11, 12 degrees. That's wonderful. So I'm really pleased about that. So we might be able to get out, you know, maybe tomorrow or whatever, see how I feel about things. Um, it all depends how I feel on any one given day, really. But, um, yeah, I might get out. I've just noticed that you can see that. Can you not see me then, does that mean? Let's put it up there. I had the car valeted the other day. I always do. I always I, I don't know, I start again. I had the car valeted um, a few days prior to it going in for a service and MOT. And do it every year. Um, it just keeps on top of things, really. I can't hoover it. Um, so I get them to hoover. And, you know, because Bodhi drops his hair all over the place. He goes like that. He really does. Um, yeah, so get, get it valeted. Properly validated as well, you know, um, they do every last thing, uh, including washing the seats. So I have it um, properly validated, then I get it serviced and MOT. Then we're all right for a year, really, because I only do it once a year. If you work out the cost of that once a year, it's nothing. Also, uh, I was fiddling around on the internet last night and I just happened to come across a mobile dog validator. And um, for his size, I think it's relatively cheap. And it'll save me uh, doing it in the bath. And I'm not sure currently how I'm able to get up and down and my breathing and all the rest of it. So I think maybe I'll do the valeter. You know, the, the valeter. Dog valeter. Dog cleaner, whatever they want to call them. Um, this woman um, got a mobile dog unit thing. Um, I clicked on there, she'd been going 14 years, um, lots of clients and all the rest of it, so who knows. Um, he only gets about four baths, five a year, something like that, it's not a lot, but uh, when he stinks a bit. And he needs a good old brush, and I suppose he could do with a bath really, he hasn't had one for a while.
Okay, so we're both well, really. A um, little way to go, but we're getting there. That's the most important thing. Um, I'm going to stop this. Have me slurpy. And have me sandwiches. Take care, then. And be well. Ta-da.